I have just pressed record. I remembered. Um, yeah, Rita, I, uh, that is, let's see. Oh, there we go. Now we go. There we are. Hey, everybody. There's Anne, and there is Tara. That is not Anne. There she goes. I'm take Anne's name down, and then we we'll, oh, you know what? While we're here, let's just go ahead and move the chat box. Oh, no, we don't want to move that. Uh, we want to move the. There we go. Yeah, let's get that guy over there, and let's see if we can make this guy just a little bit smaller so we don't block too much of tea. Thank you, dear. <laughs> I just realized what you were doing. Oh, Ray Rai is back. Sweet. That's awesome. And actually, I could maybe pitch this just a little bit over to... There we go. Let's see, make sure we got everybody. Do we have everybody? Yeah. Maybe not the best for, uh, the, but this is really the Terra Cam anyway. Oop. Okay. Um, hey, y'all. Um, sorry for the late start. Um, I, uh, I have had a very busy day. I, as if you've been following the stream, you know that I, oh, y'all's mics are on, by the way, if you want to chime in and say anything. Um, but, <coughs> oh wait, there it is. Is it is? Is it not? Tr see if it's. It, see if it, if see if the switch is. Right. Sorry, I messed it up. Okay. Okay, we're here. There. She, we're hey, you all guys. here. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Um, this my stream is set up for two people, not three people, but I am excited to have three people here. Uh, I have been able to check all the cameras. They look pretty good so far. Um, tonight we're going to do a, oh, going back to my busy ass day, um, I ha I'm now in kind of crunch time to build this effigy. And uh, I, had a, I had a moment, and, and I'm going to share this with you. This is going to sound totally like dorky and nerdy. No. But I think it's relatable, maybe. It, it, uh, at least I, a long time ago, um, when I got a little, uh, I got a very small inheritance from my uh, mom's passing. And when I went to talk to someone about what to do with the money, they said, well, what are you going to do for fun? And I, or they said, how much fun money do you want to leave out? And I was like, well, fun money, what's that? And they were like, well, usually with an inheritance, somebody, you know, they do something fun with the money and I'm going to work with what you're going to have. And so I hadn't really thought about it. Long story. Yeah, with some, some of the money. Yeah. Being so so. Um, I decided to buy a power tool, as you do, uh, for my woodworking. And I bought it, brought it home, financed it just so I could get, you know, get, so just so it would help my credit or whatever. Paid it off, thanks in large part to you guys. I didn't even have to use my inheritance. And never opened it. And it has set back there in the box ever since I bought that fun. And today I finally opened it because I needed it for my effigy. And I realized the reason I hadn't been opening it was I thought the setup was intense. The setup is nothing. Like the saw is basically ready to go. And it took me probably less than an hour if I'd been focused the whole time. So I don't know if there's a lesson in that for anybody else, but I don't know if there's ever been something that you put off, you put off, you put off, you turn it. It's like the more, every time you push it, it gets stronger, you know, the intimidation of doing it. And uh, thankfully, uh, I broke through it today, uh, but it did make me behind for the stream. Tonight, we're going to do a flow finder class. This is where we just play music. Uh, Tara and Ann both like these kinds of classes. In old school Hoop Path, uh, the beach was awesome. The beach was awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, it was really good. Uh, but I don't recommend uh, Avatar 2. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did not have a very pleasant experience with that movie. Um, over the weekend. Most sequels are not worth seeing, for those of you who don't know. Oh, hey, Rachel. Hey. hey. 
Um, anyway, uh, so I'm ready to go. Um, I knew that I would not have time to really prep for this class, so we're going to do a flow finder. The way this works, I play a song, they get to do whatever they want, I do whatever I want, and then at the end of the song, you do whatever you want. Then if you found like a certain groove with the song or there's something that happened for you during the song, uh, then you can post in the comments, uh, and we'll be sharing b after every song. We love it. All right, because of late start, I'm, I'm under my four-minute deadline, so I'm going to stick to that, and mm -hmm. I will bring up... Beautiful. Yep, our first song, but this will be our sway. Fun. This is the one. All right. <sighs> Audible breath in. Audible breath in. One absolute conversation killer is when you're talking to a person that's not listening, they're just waiting to respond to what they think you're saying. I was that guy. And it was through intentional breathing and actually Ram Das. that I learned how much I was missing by not truly listening. To not predict what they were saying, but just to hear them, to hear the tone, and to bring compassion to it. To want to understand what the person was saying, to want to reach a peaceful place with them want to share their joy, to want to hold their hurt. Finding flow with music is kind of like that. You're not listening for the familiar, you're just listening. And what seems strange now may become familiar. your body to be an expression of that listening and there's no right there's no wrong there's no good or bad it just is pure raw movement audible breath in Sometimes all the tricks we know inside of our hoop hold us back. They create familiar patterns that we find ourselves rutting into. That's when I think about hoop dance. I want my tricks, my moves, to be an expression of my dance. Not the other way around. Audible breath. Mm. Mm. 
Oh, sweet. Rex is a good boy. <laughs> he is a good boy. All right. Tara is ready to go. She's already got her hoop going. Do y'all need to say anything before we jump into our first, um, you know? Okay. Oh, by the way, Tara is in beautiful Costa Rica. <sighs> there she is. Beautiful Costa Rica. It's it's a very blurry place. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back. And we'll pick our artists. We'll just do our, which I want to play the very next song off that album, and that'll be uh, kind of a nice slow one, and we can uh, move on from there. We are going to be playing songs that I don't really know. Oh, don't. Don't you dare. Man. I t I t look at you. Look at you. iTunes iTunes has just become the absolute worst. Okay. It's also the all right. Devil. Yeah, that's uh iTunes is the devil. Yeah. Uh, just in time for Halloween. What's everybody going to be for Halloween? Drop your costume in the comments. <laughs> I'm thinking about being Gen X Barbie, but I don't even know if I'm going anywhere, and I probably won't. I'll probably be, like, rolling on the wooden roller at 8.30 p.m. <laughs> a cup of herbal tea. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm going to be either. Favorite costume from childhood? What, not even one? <gasps> I just remember one that was really funny. It was I was a golfer, <laughs> and yeah. I had a putter and a little mustache <laughs> <laughs> and a hat. Tom, did you did he fix it? Is it all good? No, I, you just made me think. I did fix it, but you just made me think of <laughs> some of my old exercise, oh. uh, my old uh, costumes. No, tell us. Well, one of mine. I mean, I just got burned being a kid of the '80s, and oh. one of mine was Karate Guy. Oh. Ralph Macchio. Yeah, but the karate my mom, kid. they put like <gasps> eyeliner to make me look. Oh no! Chinese. No. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. I it hope was a there's different no time. photo evidence. It was evidence. a different time. I was only six years old. I had no idea. Oh. But you know. <laughs> oh my God, that's <laughs> yeah. traumatizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Holy shit! Look, thank God wow. we know better. Thank God we know better. Ugh. I'm just covering my ass in case that picture ever surfaces no. online. Oh my god! I hope there's not a picture. I, yeah, there is. Of course, there's a picture. It's oh. Halloween, you know. You're, okay. All right, here we go. Let's go with our first song that we don't really know what it is going to be. Let's fix that. If you're having trouble finding your way in on this song or any other song, I recommend just picking a technique or picking a drill or picking a move and just doing it until you and open and listen. If you find something you like or have a moment, share it with us either between songs or during the song. Just now, I was really digging that snare, whatever that sort of hi-hat sound is, or whatever that we were just hearing, that kind of click. Big breath in.
I don't know if you guys experience this, but sometimes when I start flowing, I can just feel I'm going to have a good flow session. I can just feel like sometimes, sometimes it can be after a longer break than usual, or sometimes it just happens and I just start to flow and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a good night. This is fun. Sprouted from a jolly green giant. That's hilarious. <laughs> this cube. Ho ho ho. <laughs> kind oh. of a, like a blend of Halloween and Christmas. <laughs> uh, any? Uh, do y'all? Either of you have any thoughts on the way you dug that last song? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to force here. No, I um. For me, that was like. Playing with stepping through the hoop. Hey, just like put it a little bit closer. Oh, yep. Shoot. There you go. Stepping through the hoop. Stepping through the hoop. I was just stepping through the hoop um, and just dancing with it, but that was fun. Finding ways to step through. Threading, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing? Because vertical. I was, what was I doing? I was just kind of whipping the hoop around. I feel really like, I took a massive Epsom salt bath last night after a lot of catering over the weekend. So I feel very like, I can just move my whole body, so I'm kind of moving my you whole body. A, you have a beautiful Costa Rica belt on as well, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> uh, all right, let's play the next song. All right. Uh, let's see what happened. I like that one. I didn't know what that would be, and I dug it. So. I was a ladybug. My mom made cardboard cut. Aw. Aw. My brother's costume, my older brother, the loved brother, was the Incredible Hulk, and she stuffed him, yeah, like with all, she put pantyhose all over him and then stuffed it with cotton balls. My brother said it was the itchiest moment of his life, <laughs> but it was beautiful. It took a lot of work. My mom took Halloween very seriously. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, I'll start this one over so we can find it. And let me fix music situation things are going to go black for a second there's nothing to fear oh there it is okay okay all right it does work all right. said she did shoulder breaks and smears on that last one. That's nice.
I broke a light. Oh. Uh. Sorry, Carla. That, that sucks. Yeah. Ooh. I had more of a flowy moment than like working on something. Uh, did y'all have any thoughts on that last one? Again, not to, I'm not trying to squeeze toothpaste out of the empty container here, but if you don't have anything to say, we'll just. This toothpaste tube is never empty. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a lot of leaning back. I was doing a lot of off body and a lot of leaning back because one of the things with my right hip deal that is hard to sometimes is leaning back and the strain on that hip. And so trying to like build strength, keep my knees bent. So that felt good. Nice. I had a Halloween memory. <laughs> you did? Okay, what is it? What it is it? What is it? It wasn't my own, but it was it was no my daughter's. So I used to help her make all her costumes and she had great costumes. And one year I was particularly proud of this mummy costume that I had taken sheets and cut them up in strips and put them in tea so they looked old. Oh, nice. And I started wrapping her in it, and it was going to be great. She was like 11, and she was like not not liking it, not liking it. And at the, so she just like threw it away, and she went and put a bunch of black, mar like make, made herself a zombie, and that's what she went as. And she was really happy, but I was just like, Pfft. so that was my. Oh, <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's exercise that. Uh. <laughs> let's get rid of that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, oh my God. I mean, I bet every one of us has a story where you, you probably broke your parents' heart by hating the gift they gave you. <laughs> my dad gave all three of us matching leather coats one time. <laughs> like, we were like a gang. <laughs> like, we were just, no, it, we were like 18, 19, 20. Like, I mean, we were all old, and he gave us matching leather coats, me, my sister, and my brother, and maybe my stepsisters, too. I guess he... It, yeah, yeah, man. It was a, yeah. It's a slow march towards progress, not, you know. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so I'm going to play uh, a song um, that I think is fun. We're going to do some upbeat ones and see how that goes. I love ecstatic dances, but as soon as I pick up the hoop, I get confused in getting the hoop to dance with me. This is a good exercise, though I am still unable to get into the flow. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> you will never see them. <laughs> All right, let's play. Let's play some music. This is going to be a little bit more upbeat. And uh, Ray Ride, just just drill. You know, like there's a flow to drilling. Um, uh, anyway, uh, you want to say what? Turned off. That flow is a process. It, it, flow is a process. Yeah, and we and move in and out. And it, it's it's like a bus you catch. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't. I definitely don't feel flow every single time I hoop. Totally. At all. Totally. <laughs> I uh, yeah. you know I have to redefine flow. Has to have a big definition for me to feel it every time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Let's bring this back.
been installed. Nice. <laughs> We've all done that, Jennifer. the end man what do you think yeah, yeah you did yeah. life lesson right there <laughs> I, was just, I was just really expecting that song to build up again and drop another set of beats so it was kind of like <laughs> yeah ooh nice ooh I'm sorry for being so loud limbs move independently close eyes if you can oh yeah y'all are giving some good advice um yeah and uh just can't emphasize enough that uh I went, um, gosh, like six or seven months when I was hooping every day without feeling flow at all. In fact, it may have even been a year. It was a long time ago, but um, I just turned it into my workout. You know, it meant about as much to me as like running on my elliptical. Um, but uh, I did start to feel it again. And, you know, I, a lot of times people feel flow for the first time with their hoop. And sometimes, like, you know, it's, it's a festival culture. And sometimes people are on psychedelics or something that breaks them out of some sort of shell or something when they have their first couple of experiences. And they can feel flow that way. And I'm not suggesting that you take drugs so you can feel flow. Mm -hmm. But you can kind of think about that like, okay, I need to, like, completely allow myself to feel this flow experience. Maybe it's different than what I was expecting, but just maybe even better. Um, Can I just point to or highlight on that tip a couple of comments? So one being the, you know, the eyes closed or the blindfold. For more extended periods of time, if you're not feeling flow, try to do it a little longer than maybe you feel comfortable because sometimes you can kind of drop into another zone. But also Lindsay was talking about doing spinning stalls and even sometimes the combo of closing the eyes in the spinning stall. So just some suggestions. And if you get dizzy, jump up and down. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, please, please. Shelly just mentioned um, closing your, no, was it closing your eyes? Or don't break eye contact and imagine your hoop is a person. I imagine my hoop is a person a lot. I like that technique. <laughs> That's cool. Um... All right. All right. So this is another kind of upbeat, crazy song. And, uh, again, please share if you want to. Who the fuck? 
Another minute. We got more minute of top boys. Okay. Yes, I'm books. Yes, I'm busy. Throw it back. Throw it back. Yes, I'm books. Yes, I'm busy. Throw it back. Throw it back. Throw it back. Yes, I'm books. Yes, I'm busy. Throw it back. Throw it back. Yes, I'm books. Yes, I'm busy. Throw it back. 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 Thro
song right now um, these are on SoundCloud by the way I will post a link at the end of class I don't have it made but I can put something together pretty quick um, we're just sort of jumping all over the place I was I, I was just really digging coin fold like coin folding and that sort of thing yep uh, you, you're on sorry no um, I I have realized that this whole class, I have been doing tons and tons of rolls. Tons of rolls. Rolls, back, and chest. So that's been my theme of the night. Tonight's roll class, Fran. Sweet. Rolly. Yeah, your Costa Rica shirt. I love it. You just always wear green. <laughs> All right, Tara's on the grounds. I'm sure she's just going to send her thoughts on that last one. Um, yeah. And let's go ahead. Oh, we got a Hubler. Oh, Rita, Hubling to that last one. Nice. Okay, let's do, we're get, we have time for about two more songs-ish. And let's see what we've got here. We're just going to, these are stabs in the dark. I don't really know what they are. Shots in the dark. Spinning balance, nice. Stay, stay right there. Hey. There we are. <laughs> track for me. <laughs> it is adorable watching Rex and Tara, that's for sure.
head hooping. Yeah? Ann just thinks she had her a PR for breaks in a row. Is that right? Is that what you're saying, Ann? Call the Guinness Book is what I'm saying. Is that, <laughs> I literally think that was one of my, possibly my longest string of breaks ever just then. And we've got some of it on camera. Age 53. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we are still out here, guys. We're still here. Yeah. We're still here. We're still here. Oh dear. Yeah, that I, that went down an avenue. I did not meant to. I did not mean to stroll down. Yeah, I don't know if I can. Yeah, you know, Ooh. I I think huh. I I'm not saying this is a breakthrough. This is totally stupid. But I think I did something I've never done in 20 years of hooping. This is on really purpose. Cool. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't look cool or anything, but I've never, like, tried to catch the hoop Ooh. with an arm fully extended ever in my and life. And I like the way you switched sides. It's like, boom. Or the, yeah. Right? I, like, I've never, ever, ever thought about catching it at 12 o'clock or, like, right in the center of that mm. northern arc. Boom. Yeah. Love it. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something to work on. Something to workshop. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's probably enough mic for it. I think, don't think I usually like to talk, but I, um, I highly recommend playing with your hoop on the floor, spinning it around, because using the floor, um, I don't know, it just was a whole new experience down here. And it, originally I was a little tired, which is why I got down here, but then it became really, really fun, just like spinning it off the floor. So, like a coin on the floor. Nice. All right. All right, so we have time for one more song. This one sounds good. Maybe we should just do this. Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, this this sounds like it'll be a good windy down song. We'll start it over and won't we'll talk. Thank you guys. This is gonna Tara inspired me to sit and hoop, shoulder breaks, and some smears with the floor. Nice. All right, here we go. Pisces thing. Tara, thanks for joining us from Costa Rica. We appreciate it. Let's see if I can try my. There we go. I like it because it's like a real nice like stretch. Left. Tara just said it's very modern dance-esque, which is awesome.
there um anyway thank you guys we'll be back uh saturday um would either of you like to say anything else in the mic before I, we sign off here love y'all bye everybody see you, <laughs> see you soon probably saturday morning or yeah, saturday saturday night. well it'll be morning noon. for some of us yeah but i'll be here saturday at noon uh, we'll probably get techy again because um, we haven't had a tech class in a while, so we'll do something kind of fun. All right, anyway, thank you guys so much. We're going to fade to green here. <laughs> <laughs>